dear students today we are going to discuss about how to create a simple lan connection in cisco packet tracer just i am going to place your the heading implement the categories of networks so the basic categories of network we know that it's a lan man and wan it's a local area network metropolitan area network and wide area network so that lan connection is used to, to connect the, the the small region or small distance or within the building or the minimum distance we can cover with the help of lan connection right so first i am going to place the end devices today i am going to use four pc it's start from pc 0 pc 1 pc 2 pc 3 right so there are four computers we have placed now and to create the lan connection today i am going to use a switch to connect the four pcs and here go to that the connection type i am going to use copper straight line through just you click on that icon and select fast ethernet 0 and here fast ethernet 0 slash 1 right and the same step we have to use it for remaining pcs okay now it's almost over we have placed four pc and we have used one switch and with the help of copper straight line through we have connected with or four pcs right now i am going to place the ip address for each pc it's a start from 10.1.1 for pc 0 10.1.2 for pc 1 10.1.1.3 for pc2 10.1.1.4 for pc3 right so this is the ip address we are going to set for the respective pc right and the next step just to set that ip address click on the pc go to config and select fast ethernet 0 here you give that ip address it's 10.1.1.1 and for pc 1 select fast ethernet 0 it's 10.1.1.2 for pc 2 it's 10.1.1.3 that subnet mask it will come automatically that is it's a belongs to class a ip address is 255.0.0.0 and all the places the port is already on so no need to enable that status it's already by default it's in on right so for that last one ipv4 address 10.1.4 right okay now we have completed all the steps right now we are going to check whether we can able to transfer the message or whether we can able to get the response from different pcs right so just to verify that the information you click on that add a simple pdu that is protocol data unit you will place a message from pc 0 to for example pc 2 now the connection is successful right and i am going to verify one more message from pc3 to pc1 yes it's a successful and i am going to verify one more message from pc1 to pc2 yes so whatever that communication we try to communicate from different pcs it's all the information is successful now right you can verify the same information in the simulation window just you click on the simulation and just click the play button right now at the same time 
we have said uh, three different messages right all the three different messages it's uh, transferred to the respective destination so wherever we have placed from for example pc0 to pc2 or pc1 to pc2 or pc3 to pc1 so all that information it will be updated in the simulation window we can verify that what's the time it's uh, taken from source to destination and what's the lost device it's communicated right here all the process is over now and at the end we got that successful message so if that the same step repeater until that the process is going to stop sometimes you will get that the message is for example like this format so it shows that uh, it's a red color right so that it means that already the message is communicated but in background the process is still running but that that is not the respective source as well as the destinations that's why the message it shows in the form of that is unsuccessful status right i hope this information is helpful to you all and still if you have any queries related to that topic whatever we are discussing in that cisco packet raiser just you can post it in the comment window i try to answer all the questions uh, thank you thanks for watching